Emotions are strong. Our attachments are strong. How does looking and seeing reduce the strength and power of these emotions? Emotions are strong, our attachments are strong. How does the looking, how does looking and seeing reduce the strength and power of these emotions? Right? Can we go on with that question? Trying to control, suppress, sublimate emotions and attachments in no way reduce the conflict, does it? Clear? Yes. Are we generally aware of our emotions? Are we aware of our attachments? Would say emotions are very strong, attachments are very strong. Are we aware of them? Do you know that you are attached? Once find out, are you attached? strongly, <coughs> and are your emotions so extraordinarily strong that they act? So first one has to be conscious, aware, know, recognise, see that there are your emotions are strong. And know also aware, recognize that you are attached. If that is so, when you are so conscious, what takes place? You understand my question? I am conscious of my attachment or my strong emotion of hate jealousy, antagonism, uh, like and dislike, hmm? I'm, I'm conscious of them. Right? Are you? Please, we are sharing this thing together. Now, do they, being so strong, overshadow control my action. You understand? This is I'm examining, looking, observing this my, the emotions and the and, <coughs> and attachments which are apparently very strong. And they act as barriers to clear thinking, clear action to unconfused thinking. <coughs> so am I <coughs> aware of them? Or we take it for granted. You follow me? See, yes, I have very strong emotions. I'm terribly attached, but it doesn't matter. They're part of life. I don't mind struggling. I don't mind having quarrels with everybody. There's a lovely joke, but I won't go into it. <laughs> so are we aware of them? Now, if you are aware, what takes place? Please examine it yourself. See what <coughs> you're attached. Are you aware that you are attached? 
just aware. Know that you are attached to that person, or to that piece of furniture, or that, to a belief, to a dogma, you know, all the rest of it, attached to something. Now, when you say you are aware, what do you mean by that? No, recognize. Is thought recognizing the attachment? You follow? See, yes. When you say I am attached, is it the activity of thought that says I am attached? You follow? Go into this, please, with me for a few minutes. Pay attention, please, sir, quiet. When you say I'm attached, is it an idea? Or is it a fact? The fact is not the idea. This microphone, I can create an idea of it, but that's a fact. I can touch, see. Right? So, is my attachment a concept, a conclusion, or is it a fact that I am attached? You see the difference? Do you? Please, Avanti. Um, hmm? So, when you are observing the fact, not the idea, not the conclusion about the fact, but the fact, and you are aware of it, is the fact different from you who are observing the fact? You are following all this? I hope your minds are all active. It's clear, isn't it? Am I observing the fact through an idea, or through a conclusion, or I've heard somebody say that, if, and therefore I look, which means I'm looking through a screen of ideas. So I'm not looking at the fact. So I'm looking now at the fact. I'm not verbalizing the fact. I'm looking at it. How do I look at it? As something separate from me. You understand? Attachment. Something different from me. Or. That's part of me. You understand? The p- Don't go to sleep, please. If you want to sleep, sleep. But if you are serious for a few minutes, see this fact. That is, am I looking as though it was something apart from me? The microphone is apart from me. But <coughs> attachment, emotions are part of me. It, it, attachment is the me. If I have no attachment, there is no me. So I am l- awareness of your emotions and <coughs> and attachments are part of your nature, part of your structure. So you are looking at yourself. So there is no division. There is no duality. Me and attachment. There is only attachment. Not the word, but the fact, the feeling, the emotions. The possessions, the possessiveness in attachment. That's a fact. So that is me. 
So what am I to do with the me? You understand? Now please follow this step by step. Take, if you get tired or if you are distracted, be distracted but come back. So when there was division between me and attachment, I could do something about it. Right? You follow this? I could control it, I could say, no, I mustn't be, or suppress it, or do something about it all the time, right? Which we do. But if it is me, what can I do? Wait, wait, follow it closely. If it is me, what can I do? I can't do anything, can I? I can only observe. You see the difference? Before I acted upon it, now I can't act upon it, because it's me, it's my arm, it's part of me. So all that I can do is to observe. Right? So uh, observation becomes all important, not what to do about it. You see the difference? So I ob- there is observation, not I am observing. There is only observation. In that observation, if I begin to choose, say I mustn't be uh, attached, I'm already moved away in saying that's m- not me. You understand all this? So, in observation, there is no choice, there is no direction, just pure, absolute, clear observation. Then the thing that you are, the thing that is being observed, dissolves. Before you resisted it, you controlled it, you suppressed it, you acted upon it. Now, in that observation, all energy is centered. It's only when there is the lack of energy, there is attachment. I wonder if you see this. Do you see this? That is when there is complete observation, without any interference of thought, because you are observing. Why should thought come in? You understand the point? You are just observing the fly, the the thing that you call the fly, just observe. In the same way to observe so completely your emotions, attachments, then you are gathering, there is the gathering of all energy in that observation. Therefore, there is no attachment. I explained very carefully. It is only the unintelligent that are attached. It is only the people who do not see the full implication of attachment that are attached. And they pervade the world, (laughs) they are the stronger element in the world, and we are caught in that. But when you begin to examine this closely, look at it, then you are are no longer caught in that, so you are no longer dissipating energy in something which has no meaning, naturally. So your energy is now centred completely in observation. Therefore there, there is total dissipation of attachment. Test it, do it, and you'll find out. 
but you have to be step by step, don't jump in to say something or other. You have to examine the thing very, very, very closely. So that your mind is absolutely clear in the observation. Right? It's only the unaware that jump over the cliff. The moment you are aware of danger, move. Attachment is a danger, because it breeds fear, anxiety, hate, jealousy, being possessed and being not possessed, the whole of that. That's a tremendous danger. And, the, and when you see danger, you act. There is not you act, there is action. 